Liberia. Liberia. Liberia! Hey guys, and welcome to the series where I have brought it upon myself to somehow play Liberia in Hearts of Iron 4. That's right, the video game about World War II. Liberia. Hello everybody and welcome to the ISR Productions channel where I play a lot of Hoi 4. Not out of choice but out of commitment to the promise I made to play every single starting nation in Hearts of Iron 4. Are some of the nations quite painful? Yes. Do I kind of get off on the pain? <laughs> yes. Look at it. There it is. Liberia. You may be asking yourself, what did Liberia do in World War II? Well, here's a fact sheet of everything they did right here on the screen. Wow. And look, here's a meme about Liberia. And here's an interesting fact about Liberia. And look at that. There's the flag of Liberia. Isn't that cool? Hold on a sec. Cease and desist from America incoming. Hold on a sec, but here's the first American flag with the little British flag at the top left. Hold Who's getting cease and desisted now? It's just getting, it's getting out of hand here. We're gonna have to get Judge Judy on the case. Welcome to Liberia. Liberia was set up by uh, Americans who sent their slaves back to Africa. It's quite traumatic. A lot of the people that came over here, they died. I'm not laughing <laughs> because, <laughs> because of what happened. I'm just laughing <laughs> because I'm having to play Liberia. I'm trying to hold off as much as I can. But I guess eventually, I will have to hit the start button. Not before hitting the historical AI focuses off though. Wow, epic, Liberia, awesome source, cool guy emoji shades, if so goddamn cool here. Right, here we go. General of the Year Award, the savior of Liberia, the hero of Africa, Robert Carney. He's not very brave. Alright, you think I hated myself enough to play uh, the normal focus tree? No modded Liberia in Vanilla Hoi 4? You're wrong. I've got a Liberia Plus mod that um, I've already looked through. And it kind of sucks. It's alright though, the focus tree, if that wasn't enough, it also gives us the ability to crash our nation into the ground from the beginning because everything that could go wrong with Liberia has happened. Our uh, news is that we can go ahead and get this guy off the top. Uh, our Firestone, the industrial concern, we'll get that up. That means we get a bit more resource efficiency and we do have some rubber. And we're going to be very efficient at selling it all right if i was liberia and all i had was rubber what would i do i already made this joke before didn't i man you guys have been spelling agriculture the the, the wrong way the entire time you're so dumb it's actually agroculture idiots we have to support agroculture um I guess we'll start with the question of agriculture. Dude, you you literally just got the job. You just got the job and you now have the shit, rubber. I, I'm so glad I got the cautious general who clearly has IBS and has shit himself at the first sign of responsibility. Uh, it could also be that we have bandit raids, which I'm not too upset about because all of these options right here don't matter to me because I don't really have an industry for me to care about. Sure. Blow up the factory that's making two guns a day. Uh, that's not a factory. That's just some dude in his shed. <laughs> Agroculture. 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 Foreign ship. Hold on. This gives us a carrier of 40% completion to our construction queue. <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna do with that? Uh, I see you thought you were being funny, mod developer. Well, there's no way I'm going to laugh at the fact that you made the army experience gain from this focus. 69! Uh, you have to say, there are a lot of people in our country called Robert. It's two different parties here, both led by a man called Robert. <laughs> 69! If you don't know why 69 is a uh, comical masterpiece, it's because if you look at the numbers, uh, it, it looks like a human um, coital position. I, I just realized that if you go, I'm looking which side to go down, alright? I just realized we do the anti fascist refugees, uh, we actually get. 42069 mad power. Epic! So goddamn epic! 
There you go. I know exactly what to call our first aeroplane. The Robert. 69. All right. Now I just need 75 factories to start building them. I won't lie, I kind of want to stay democratic because a lot of this stuff gives us a whole bunch of consumer goods factory bonuses, which um, it does sound pretty tasty, but that does mean we won't be able to do a single thing the entire game. Ah, uh, screw it. You can't tempt me away with land when I can have factories. Uh, plus, I realized that I also get the, the fascist demagoog, so, um... I could just change whenever I want, regardless. Financial expert, epic! Well, actually, I didn't check. In, in my little advice, is anyone called Robert? Robert, Robert. We got a Robert! Hey, so Robert Radcliffe gives communism support, but Samuel Carney is the one in charge of the Communist Party, and Robert Radcliffe is a fascist leader. I'm not quite understanding <laughs> the, the politics here, Robert. Oh, well, uh, the banners blew up my only military factory, so you could say things are going pretty well in Liberia. Oh, well, look at that. Uh, Britain handed over Sierra Leone to me, so now look at that. I'm, uh, I'm big. I'm big Liberia. I just realized that. She does allies even exist? Uh, what is Great Britain doing? That's, uh, that's not the allies, is it? Oh, they, they said no regardless. Probably because <laughs> we didn't get the news the allies don't even exist. That's right, ladies. If I'm suffering, you're suffering too. That's, uh, that's what that means, right? Right? Oh, I guess, uh... Some habits are hard to kick, eh? Why is India... Lilac? And in a famine. Nice to see in this timeline, the Yugoslavians are seppukuing themselves before anyone gets the chance to do it for them. Uh, I guess since there's no kind of democratic backbone in the world, I will have no choice but to flip to reorganize Liberian Free State, and that is... Robert. It's an interesting flag. Kind of makes me feel like a first aid tent, but we'll we'll go with it. What I'm interested in here is the fact you managed to misspell tourism here, but spell it correctly here. How? Bad news our focus about the carrier didn't actually give us the carrier, but it did give us the tech, and it's called the Shrek class. Yeah! Oh, well, I look forward to seeing you, Mr. Shrek, in 1948! I didn't realize I've been building planes this whole time and I don't even have an airport. Where do I put the planes? Oh, finally, they have gone to war. Germany is taking on France and the Soviet Union and the allied with Britain, and I'm gonna go ahead and take my time to strike the Frenchies. Yes, I would love to take my place on the council of epic winners that definitely deserve to be on this council. I don't know what's worse here. The current front line situation with these arrows going everywhere, the fact the French actually sent soldiers down here who then got encircled by the Liberians, well, just the fact I just said any of that out loud. Uh, it's safe to say that without the Liberians, the French would just be... They'd be beating the Germans right now. I bet if I look over there right now, they're probably pushing them all the way back to Berlin. Yep, that's, that's what's happening. Didn't really get a fair share of the land from that. Just gonna put that out there. Thought I'd uh, go send my fighters over to the Soviet front just so, um, you know, I could do something. But, um... I think the AI might have it covered. Ah, uh, well, since I'm in this faction, might as well uh, use it to its full potential. I don't mind me just uh, sabotaging my quote-unquote allies by making them go to war with people. The curse part about starting all these wars, and I um, I have started a few of them, uh, is uh, the Germans are invading Denmark now, and they're giving it over to me. <laughs> I don't know why. Look at that, just uh, a <laughs> little Liberian Denmark. <laughs> oh, my dreams are ruined. As soon as they took the whole state, it just went to the Germans. That's not very fun. Uh, doing all these wars did uh, complicate the scenario a bit, because the China joined the common turn somehow. Not too sure why or how, but that happened. 
Still not sure how or why. Oh, hold on a second. Will they give me Sweden, though? Come on. You've given me this little piece of Denmark still. That means I can have this, right? Well, Illy. Okay, Illy. I may have started these wars, but you expect me to garrison the, the lands that you are now occupying? I have 72,000 men, and I am <laughs> I am on extensive conscription. I would have liked to, uh, you know, kind of set the uh, Polish and the Romanians up for this war, too, but uh, apparently they got a non-aggression pact with our leader, so I can't do it. Uh, also, Brazil is in a civil war right now because the Portuguese did the monarchy rebirth empire thingy-majibby and, uh, yep, they joined Japan's faction and the other one joined the common turn. It's going great. The game just crashed. That's not a good sign. That is not a good sign. Yeah, I gotta say, because this is a uh, pretty wacko focus tree, I was expecting them to go a little ham and make me super overpowered, but they didn't. I'm not super overpowered. I don't even get a free aircraft carrier until 1948. You've hit a whole new time low for the ISARA Productions war participation. Zero percent. Why am I also so far close to capitulating? <laughs> what? How did that occur? I've got all my land, don't I? There it goes. Maybe it's because the pesky Germans are currently occupying rifle Liberian Denmark. All right, just to check. What the, what actually needs to happen for these guys to capitulate? They just need to kill the Soviets, and they are well on their way to doing that. It would be a shame if the Liberians were to use some sort of trickery to get into the peace deal and annex land to themselves with a... Play at peace conferences. Uh, the whole world's in chaos, everyone's fighting, everyone's dying, and then over here in Liberia we're just kind of chilling. Watching Robert Radcliffe play the Liberian National Anthem on his cello and tambourine. And somehow he plays them both at the same time. Gotta say, you guys are, uh, divvying up the Soviet Union quite nice. It's like, a really, really weird flag. Is that anyone's flag with white, lilac, and yellow as a, as a tricolor? Whose flag is that? Someone will know. Oh my god. Oh, wait, hold on a sec. Why do we only have 10 points for pass? Oh, I'm gonna get RSI. Help me! This is the... This is, <laughs> this is what happens when you cheat everyone. Don't cheat. It's never worth it. How much you gonna be for Denmark? Surprisingly cheap. I'll take it. Don't think I can handle this much clicking. I think I may do my allies dirty, <laughs> just take what I want and leave them with nothing. Picture this. Liberian President Robert Radcliffe enters the peace conferences, demands all of Africa, Spain and Scandinavia, leaves, and then lets all the POWs go with him. It was an elaborate ho host, but um... Now we have peace in the world, and the Soviet Union and France will definitely know from this lesson not to mess with the Germans. Oh, scratch that. No, they went straight back to war with each other. That's right. I did all the hard work for you, Germany. That's right. You just go in and take what you want after I did, you know, all the heavy lifting. Hey, look at that. We got all Africa. We didn't even cheat to do it. We just cheated. The news is we can finally afford to build our planes. And look, the carrier's been moved forward to next year. Uh, I don't think that piece was ever going to last. Um, Soviets are back at it too. So we're going to see another war. Very quickly. The question is, do I join the war again? So that I can set up the Third World War in the space of two years. Right? Not too sure what's going on right here. I noticed Mexico declared war on someone. And all the factions with the same color over here. So it's kind of hard to understand. But it looks like the Hispanic Alliance is at war with the US of A. Uh, I was wondering when something was going to happen over here. And uh, as you can see... The borders really do be moving to realize some creek curse down here. I was like, why has Mexico got like this land down here, but not this land? And I looked at it. Corporationist Honduras exists. <laughs> it's a Reich's commissariate of El Salvador. How and when did that happen? And also, damn El Salvador, you're scary. Oh, well, well, there goes big, big Latvia. You go, big, big Latvia. Yeah, surprisingly, I couldn't afford to occupy all this land, so uh, I'm out of guns, and they're also just blowing everything up, which is great. But much like real life, the Danes love a good occupation. There you go. They're loving it. There you go. Joke's on you guys. Now you have to repair your own infrastructure you blew up. Gonna, gonna be real. Um, kind of bored. Can't think of anything to do. And Liberia sucks. So we can either choose between making one gun a day 
or an aircraft carrier. Now, realistically, do we need guns? Kind of. All right, you know, 10th of January, 1992, okay? I can wait. I just realized looking at this map, why is everything so damn lilac? <laughs> Why? We live in a lilac world. Man, this is crazy. Things are really just getting wild over here. Uruguay, the southwest peninsula. Mental state diminishing every second. If you all enjoyed the video, leave a like, hit the subscribe button. Go Liberia!